I seem to have a growing list of uh, things that I'm agnostic about. Um, and I think that that's a state where I don't necessarily not have an opinion on something, but I find it difficult to form a coherent opinion or a conclusive opinion on something that doesn't seem to be conclusively defined and perhaps uh, doesn't seem to be able to be conclusively <laughs> defined. Uh, you know, so far uh, the list includes um, God, <laughs> uh, free will, and recently added is, of course, uh, the I, the self. <laughs> um, not sure, not so much whether or not these things exist, but not sure that we can really fundamentally understand what we're talking about when we start discussing whether or not they exist. Um, because I don't really think that language is capable of defining any of these, but the thing is, um, these are important concepts. Like, that's... <laughs> is there some fundamental intelligence behind everything that I see going on around me outside of me or outside of my own consciousness or consciousness itself? It's an important question. Um, am I some sort of... What are, what are my attributes if there is an I in here or if there isn't, then what is on the receiving end of all these uh, impulses that I see or that something sees from the outside world and if that's it, then that's the I or whatever. These infinitely regressing arguments that just seem to go nowhere, but unfortunately do deal with very important uh, issues, very important things, uh, things that seem to matter. <laughs> um, so that's why I think that agnostic as opposed to agnostic, which means, you know, I don't really seem to care, I don't think about it, I think about this stuff all the time. I think about God, the I, free will, all that kind of thing, but it's increasingly difficult to come to grips with these things, to talk about them coherently. So I guess agnosticism is sort of a, an interesting way of looking at it. Uh, intensely interested, but unable to really come to grips with them, but I still want to talk about them, but I'm not really sure if I'm talking about the same thing when I discuss the issue with somebody else. So either we, you know, admit that we're going to sit here spinning our wheels, or we spin our wheels and contradict each other because we don't like the terminology that the other person is using, or we think that we don't like what how they're using it, but uh, we're not 100% sure whether or not we're talking about the same thing. Um, or we uh, we try to use the terms with qualifications. Um, maybe is the useful word here. Um, it seems as though that it seems as though there are certain things that we can ascertain. Um, but it's not 100% sure that we can actually perceive them correctly with our limited sense apparatus, and it doesn't... It seems like it might not be possible to uh, illustrate them w to each other with 100% accuracy with our limited speech apparatus or communication structure. Um, but they're important concepts that we really want to talk about. <laughs> uh, so even if we're sort of saying that, okay, let's say I take a position that the I doesn't exist. Okay, well, what the hell am I talking about when I say the I? What am I saying doesn't exist? Um, there's my agnosticism. Um, because, you know, again, you don't really know what the other person is thinking about when they're, they're actually using that term, even though this is a very important thing out there. Maybe is, I think, a very useful term to approach the matter with. Um, it's not the same thing as I don't care or no. It's, hmm, it's possible. Um, so, so far, my view, I guess, is um, maybe God exists, but probably doesn't, because we're not really sure what we're talking about when we say God. Um, Maybe there's such a thing as free will, or maybe there's determinism, but since these uh, things haven't actually been defined properly, and I don't really know if they can, because they kind of, each one of them sort of um, fundamentally affects the universe uh, and, and everything in it in certain ways that 
don't seem to be provable anyway, and it's just a question of what people seem to want to be true. Um, maybe there's determinism, and maybe there's not. Uh, or maybe there's free will, and maybe there's not, or maybe that you can have both, or whatever. Who knows? And um, maybe there's an I, and maybe there isn't. Um, maybe we're actually talking about the same thing when we say the I, or the self, and maybe we're not. <laughs> um, agnosticism again. Important concepts, important ideas, central ideas even, I would say. Um, I would say that determinism and the self are interrelated. Um, and I would almost think, it seems to me as though these two are more important even if even than whether or not there's a god. But anyway... Uh, that's my growing list of agnosticisms. <laughs> Thank you.